Stray is a third-person adventure game with a cyberpunk setting in which the player takes control of a stray cat, lost in a mysterious underground city that's populated only by robots. The main objective is to return to the surface, but as you progress through the levels, you begin to gradually unveil the secrets of the game's setting. The bulk of Stray's gameplay focuses on overcoming environmental obstacles and puzzle solving, with a healthy dose of platforming. Showing the game from the perspective of a feline has allowed Stray's developers to implement a lot of creative level design choices, which is one of the game's main draws. Unfortunately, Stray isn't supported for Mac, so if you want to play it, you'll need to resort to alternative solutions. The good news is that there are viable workarounds to let you play the game. When it comes to playing unsupported games on a Mac, there are two main approaches you can take. The first one is to stream the game to your Mac using the Boosteroid cloud gaming service. The second one is to install Windows on your Mac and then download the game within the Windows environment. The advantage of the cloud gaming approach is that the hardware specs on your Mac don't matter. This allows you to play even the most demanding games on weaker and older Macs because the game would really be running on a remote gaming rig that you connect to your Mac. Another plus is that you don't need to download the game. A big advantage considering that some games can take up to half of your storage space. A potential downside to cloud gaming is having a bad internet connection that would lead to lots of lag and an overall bad experience. The other downside is that most cloud gaming platforms require a monthly fee. There are hardly any free options and the ones that are available are very limiting. Alternatively, if you choose to play Stray using the Windows method, the hardware specs of your Mac will need to meet the game's requirements. But the advantage is that your internet speed won't matter since this is a single player game. The game itself has average system requirements, so Macs released in the past 5 years should be able to run it. However, know that playing Stray through Windows will cause your Mac to get very hot, especially if it's an older Intel model. Also, getting Windows and downloading the game takes considerably more time compared to playing through cloud gaming. Right off the bat, we must say that we recommend the cloud gaming method for the reasons we already mentioned, if your internet connection is up to the task. We'll tell you about a cloud gaming service called Boostroid that features the game in its library, and using it is super simple. Just register on the site, go to your profile, click the subscribe button, and start your subscription. Once you're subscribed, type the game's name in the search bar on the top, open the game's page, select play, and then click on OK Let's Go. When you see the Steam login screen, enter your username and password to start playing. With Boostroid, the game's image quality is capped at 1080p and 60 frames per second, but whether you actually get that depends on your internet. The service will automatically lower the game's resolution and FPS to keep the performance smooth when experiencing connectivity disruptions. If you want to try Boosteroid, we recommend using it through Chrome or Opera as the service is optimized for these two. It can work on other browsers like Safari, but in testing we found the experience to be subpar. Specifically for this game, we have had the best experience using Boosteroid. As the performance is mostly influenced by the internet speed, we recommend testing your connection before committing to the service. To test it yourself, you can find a link below the video. If you don't think cloud gaming is for you, there's also the option to turn your Mac into a Windows PC. Well, sort of. While there will be some drawbacks, it's possible to install Windows on a Mac and run compatible software, including games. Bear in mind, however, that this method uses an app called Bootcamp Assistant, which works only on Intel Macs and can't be used on M-based models. To get Windows on your Mac with the Bootcamp Assistant, first go to the Microsoft site and download a 64-bit Windows ISO file. Then navigate to the Utilities folder on your Mac, launch the Bootcamp Assistant, and click Continue. Load the ISO file, then allocate at least 120 gigabytes to the Windows partition and start the installation. Next, simply follow the prompts to install Windows and personalize its settings, and you should be ready to go. The only thing left after that is to install any necessary drivers so that your Mac can run Windows without any issues. We have a detailed guide on the whole process linked in the description. With Windows on your Mac, all that's left to do is download the game as you would on a Windows PC. As we pointed out earlier, Stray doesn't have the highest system requirements, but if you're running it on an older Mac, performance will range from not great to horrible. So here are a few things you can do to try to make the gameplay smoother. First, type Graphics Settings in the Start menu and open the first result. Click Browse, navigate to the Games folder, select its icon and click Add. Select Options, enable the High Performance Settings and click Save. Now go to the Games folder again, right click it, 
Open Properties. Select the Compatibility tab and set the Compatibility Mode to Windows 7. While there, also check the Disable Full Screen Optimizations and the Run This Program as Administrator options. Then click Change High DPI Settings, enable the Override option, and click OK on everything. Another thing you can do is go to the Display Settings and lower your system resolution. Lastly, don't forget to lower the in-game settings before you start playing. This will significantly lower the game's image quality, but should provide you with a noticeably improved performance. Of course, you can tinker around with these settings to see what works best for you. We tested the bootcamp method on the 2016 MacBook Pro, and after applying all the aforementioned optimization tricks, we got the game to run at the lowest possible settings. As you can see, the image quality is quite bad, and the FPS rate is very low. Then again, this MacBook is 6 years old, and the fact that Stray could still run on it means that the bootcamp method is still a valid option. On newer machines, you'll get improved performance, better graphics, and you'll be able to actually play the game. However, bear in mind that even on powerful Macs, the overheating will still be present. Finally, for those of you wondering if you can play Stray via Parallels, we tested that too, but no matter how hard we tried to get it to work, with each attempt we ran into an error message. Unfortunately for M1 Mac users, this leaves them with no option of playing the game locally. That said, the cloud gaming variant is still a perfectly viable alternative. Here are the conclusions that we have made after testing each method. Cloud gaming is best for users with a good internet connection that have an older and slower Mac as well as M-based silicon Macs. Bootcamp is the best option for Macs that have a high-performing Intel-based chip with lots of storage. And so this concludes our overview. Hopefully one of the suggested options would allow you to have fun with the game on your Mac. If you liked this video and found it helpful, we'd appreciate if you leave a like or a comment below. Also, if you want to see more interesting Apple related content, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell. It helps us greatly and allows us to keep making more videos.